Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. So first off, don't mind the situation that's going on in the back here. Um, I'm actually waiting for my grandpa to come to Los Angeles. He's coming in like, I want to say two weeks and he's going to put up all my paintings. But right now they're just like sitting in the back of my car. He's an amazing person and I don't know how to do it on my own. <laughs> But I am currently in front of Whole Foods. I am in desperate, desperate need of some groceries. And I recently did a video where I went over like my Trader Joe's favorites. And some people voted that they would want to see a Whole Foods version. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and pick all my favorite stuff. I would say I shop at Whole Foods like once a month because it is really expensive and um, a lot of times like I'll go to Ralph's or Trader Joe's before I'd go to Whole Foods but I know that Ralph's, Vons and like a bunch of other places aren't really available for everyone whereas I feel like Whole Foods is pretty much all over the United States correct me if I'm wrong so I thought it would be an interesting video and actually a lot of people also voted that they would want to see a Walmart version which I can make that happen as well there's a Walmart like 30-ish minutes away from me. I know that that's like all over the United States. So I think that these kind of videos are going to be a thing on my channel now. <laughs> um, let me know if you enjoy them. If you do enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up. But I'm going to stop talking because I'm actually like starving. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get some groceries and then I'm going to unpack them at my house this time because the Trader Joe's haul I did like in my car and it just didn't work out well. So I will see you guys inside the store and then at my apartment. <laughs> Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket I prayed in my truth for some robbers And he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him I got the Glock in my robbery 17 shots, no 38, yeah I got the Glock in my robbery all right guys, so just finished grocery shopping. I have two full bags. One's actually like strapped down on the side because if I have something sitting in the seat and it like the chair can tell that something's there, it's going to just keep beeping until I put the seatbelt on. But you know, it's also safer that way and I spent a lot of money on this food so I wanna make sure it gets to my house in one piece. Um, I ended up spending $117 and I think that's a crazy amount of money for groceries that will probably last me I mean, I'm hoping for like at least two weeks, <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, so like I said, I definitely don't shop at Whole Foods all the time because I just don't think it's like cost effective. But every once in a while I will splurge and I do think that Whole Foods does have like amazing food. It just sucks that it's so overpriced. It like pains me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. But I'm excited to go home and show you guys everything that I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll see you guys in my apartment. Oh baby, oh baby, oh. Alright guys, so I've just kind of laid everything out so you could see a little bit better, but we're going to start off on this side. Over here I have two of these little packages of some sprouted brown rice. I know that I could easily cook my own brown rice, but I'm not going to lie to you. These are so, so convenient to have. Um, the macros for this entire package is 1.5 fat, 53 carb, 3 fiber, and 6 protein, and 240 calories. So I just have two of those. I also have some coconut oil. If you don't like the taste of coconut oil, which I don't know how you wouldn't, but if you don't, then you can use olive oil. That's also like a good alternative. Then over here, I have some rice cauliflower. I do like to mix the rice cauliflower with the brown rice just for like some extra volume because normally like this does not fill me up. And then as you guys know, I also love my broccoli. I would say it's probably my favorite vegetable because if I cook it in the coconut oil and then add some sea salt, it's so easy to eat. I could seriously take this whole bag down, if not two, in like one sitting. Now we'll be on to the snacks. Sam got me so hooked on these lately and I kind of hate her for it, but love her at the same time. So these are just some regular chickpeas with sea salt. I never thought that they would taste as good as they do, but just take my word for it. I'm a big fan. Um, the macros are four fat, 18 carb, six fiber, and six protein. Then over here, I've only tried these recently but I love them so so much these are just <laughs> figgy pops chocolate crunch super snacks it's pretty much a mix of dates coconut chocolate 
a um, little bit of sea salt. Like you can kind of taste the sea salt just a tiny bit, but I think it makes it really good. And then I also recently tried these, which is some coconut clusters. If you guys are new to my channel, you're probably gonna be like, what the heck, are you obsessed with coconut? And yes, in fact, I really am. 13 fat, nine carb, three fiber, and two protein for one serving. Last time I had this, I ate the entire bag. Moving on to some fruit, I just have some strawberries and blueberries, which are my go-to berries. And then I also have some kombucha. This is the ginger berry flavor, which is really, really good. And then the strawberry serenity, which is also a favorite of mine. How cute are these? <laughs> and they're also very, very convenient because you don't really have to like cut a lot. You just kind of cut in half and throw them on the pan. And also I like that it comes in not too big of a portion because I don't really eat potatoes all that often. There's probably like two servings in here because that's, that's doable for me. <laughs> Over here, I have some plantain chips. They make a really, really good salty snack. Again, if you guys watch Munchy Mondays, then you already know, but I'm so obsessed with these kind bars. I've officially come to the conclusion that the dark chocolate all almond and coconut flavor is the best one. They also have a regular almond and coconut flavor, but I think the dark chocolate makes such a big difference. <laughs> I'm obsessed, I usually have one of these like right after breakfast. Next I got three avocados. I actually already think I have some in my fridge. I'm not complaining, this is like a good thing to be addicted to, you know, avocados, they're good for you. Moving on to some of the best chocolate that I have ever, ever had. It's by Nomad, I think. That's how you say it. Um, and it's coconut milk with cacao nibs. It's soy free, stone ground, dairy free, paleo, and vegan. I believe there's two servings per container and it's 157 calories, 11 fat, 16 carb, five fiber, and three protein. So I have been really into salmon lately. I think I showed it in a recent Munchy Mondays and I got tons of questions asking how I actually cook it. So I think I'm gonna make a recipe video soon with like my top four favorite easy, healthy dinner ideas and I will include a recipe on how I cook my salmon. It's super simple, nothing too complicated. I literally use like <laughs> coconut oil, a little bit of sea salt, but I'll show you guys the entire process once I make that video. My absolute favorite veggie burger in the entire world, it's the Amy's Quarter Pound Veggie Burger. <laughs> Um, the macros are four fat, 24 carb, six fiber, 19 protein, and 210 calories. Then I just have a huge carton of cage-free eggs. And then I have some almond milk creamer, the Califia Farms. Is it Califia Farms or Califa Farms? I'm not sure, but this brand is really, really good. They make amazing coffee, amazing almond milk. I do like to put this into my oatmeal. <laughs> I've talked about it, I think, in actually my last video, and a few people were kind of like, what? I just make it with water, and then a serving of this, chocolate chips, coconut, and berries on top. And then I figured I would include this in the video because I did <laughs> like buy it today. Uh, but if you are a cat parent, this brand, Halo, is a really good cat food brand, so I would recommend it. My cats are big fans. But that is everything that I got today. I know it doesn't really look like a lot of food, but should at least last me, I mean, maybe not two weeks, but like a week and a half. I should be good. And with that said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. I think my next part of this series that we're doing, <laughs> I think it's a series at this point, um, is going to be a Walmart version. So if that's something that you'd wanna see, comment below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.